Hello, I'm Tara with Index Data, and this is a quick introduction to inventory and searching in Folio. Let's start by going to the Inventory app, which we can access by clicking on the Inventory app icon. In the leftmost pane, we have our search and filter options. As we can see here in the button group at the top, there are three types of records we can search in inventory. Instances, holdings, and items. An instance record contains bibliographic and administrative information about a particular resource. You might be tempted to call these bib records, but let's use the term instance when we're talking about instances. In most libraries, the majority of a library's instance records will show information that is ultimately coming from a MARC record. MARC records are held in source record storage. Source record storage isn't an app you can look at and navigate directly. It's where MARC records live. In Folio, we would say that an instance with a record in source record storage has an underlying MARC record. Instances can have holdings records. Holdings records contain information such as location, call number, and volumes owned that enable staff to locate and manage library holdings for materials. Holdings records provide the connection between instances and items. Finally, we have items. Item records contain information needed to identify and track a single item or piece. An item record contains data like the barcode and the item status, such as if it's missing or checked out. An item record often, but not always, refers to something you could pick up or shelve. Here in the Inventory app, we have the option to search for instances, holdings, or items. As you can see, the search and filter options for instances, holdings, and items are each a little bit different. The default is to search by keyword. You can expand the accordions for filters to see the options available to you. The numbers next to filters are record counts to help you narrow down your search. Some filters will allow you to search within the filter using the search box under the filter's accordion. To clear an individual filter group, click the X next to the filter group. To start over entirely, you can click Reset All to clear all applied filters and reset the search. Once we do a search or apply a filter, our results will be shown in the second pane. No matter what we're searching for, the results list in the second pane will be a list of instances, not holdings, and not items. We can see the number of records found at the top of the second pane. Results are sorted by title by default, but you can also sort by contributor by clicking on the heading of the column. When you click on one of the results in your list, a third pane will open displaying that instance record. The third pane will always display an instance whether you were searching for instances, holdings, or items. To get to a holdings record, click on the instance you want to look at, then click on View Holdings next to the holdings record you are looking for. This will take you to a full screen view of the holdings record. To return to the search results, click the X in the upper left hand corner to close this view. To view an item record, click on the instance you want to look at, click on the arrow next to the holdings record to view items connected to that holdings record, and then click on the item's barcode to open the item record. This will take you to a full screen view of the item record. To return to the search results, click the X in the upper left hand corner to close this view. Inventory has many more powerful and advanced searching features available to help you manage your collection, but that is the end of our quick introduction to inventory and searching.